Right, just in the process of um, replacing my rear springs with some um, higher lift ones, either Dobinson's 40mm, which are fairly common in New Zealand. Um, I haven't actually done this job before, so I'm just making sure I've got more than enough tools to make sure the job goes well. I've checked with some of the clubs I belong to and uh, a couple of different ways to do it, but I should be able to cover those. So I've got um, jack spring compressors there, uh, some jack stands, um, a variety of tools including double ups for the sockets if any slip or anything like that and some general tools and things like that. Hi, I decided to do the rear springs um, as I needed more articulation when I moved to my 32s. There was very little gap um, at the top and so the tyres would rub. Um, and I'm also hoping that once I've got these springs in, um, due to the pivot clearance, uh, my front won't rub any more because they are uh, touching even though they're at the end of the travel with the torsion bars. Another thing I found, whether it was because of the use of the high lift jack, but when I was dropping the diff, so I'd lifted the body with the jack somewhat and then dropping the diff, that there was actually quite a lot of lurching to the right as the diff came down. Um, and so it's quite important that you've actually got the axle stands um, in place because it's not inconceivable for it to have lurched off the um, axle stand. It didn't seem like it, but it's not inconceivable that that could actually happen. I'm not too sure if that would still be the case if you had the body, if you had the jack under the body rather than here, but that's just something I observed anyway, so I thought I'd point it out. Um, what I forgot to say is this is my first spring job, so there are a couple of different ways to do it, and people do it in different ways. Um, obviously if you have uh, a proper hoist, it'll be done differently, but I didn't, so I had to do it this way. But what you're basically doing is lifting the body, but dropping the diff as much as practical. Um, you need to have spring compressors on the springs to stop them from popping out and to make it easier to move in and out because you don't want to lower the diff more than necessary because you're actually putting the brake lines and things at risk. You need to, in the beginning, um, remove the shock absorber bolt on the other side I think you'll need to do it at the top because it's um, hard up against there. Um, you'll probably also need to undo the sway bar. I did that anyway because I wanted the sway bar out, but um, I think you'll find that the sway bar, which comes through here and through there, will actually get in the way, so that will need to be probably taken all the way, or un fully unbolted, but definitely this side anyway. Now you notice with the spring compressor, um, it's over one, two, three, four, five. I found that actually makes it quite a lot easier to um, do up rather than just squeezing two or three. Um, I had quite a lot of experiments on the other side because I'd actually done the job in a slightly different way, but this appears to be the most simplest way of doing things. And also try and make sure that these um, are located have a look where it's located because you, when this is all together you don't want them to be hitting the mounting brackets and things like that because the spring locates there um, and also in this pocket up here. I've just lightly tied the um, spring to something heavy, in this case my wheel, um, because I found with the other side that it was quite hard to locate it in the beginning. With people on, um, I'd mucked around a fair bit trying to get it initially into the cup and stay in the cup. So this here, I've put a bit of pressure on it so it should actually stay in there. Um, is what I'm going to do first is drop the body down uh, a notch or two at a time, about 50 millimetres, and we'll just see how it goes. And I'll just um, alternate perhaps between dropping the body, getting the spring located, and then I'll start lifting the diff up. Unless, um, 
something obviously changes. I'm still having a, a think about two things. First of all, whether this is actually located quite in the right place, and we'll clear that. Um, that that bracket when it's up, so I'm having a think about that, and also whether um, I want to be releasing these up the top here, or whether it's better down the bottom. So I'm just going to have a bit of a play around and have a think about that, and maybe pop it out and put it upside down. But I'll let you know. <laughs> 